What the puck? Hi everybody, Kat here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. What is going on? Harry and Meghan were spotted last night in Vancouver, British Columbia at a Vancouver Canucks game Monday night. They're in Vancouver right now to sell to um, do some work. They're promoting the Invictus, Invictus Games, which are going to be held in Vancouver in 2025. So they were up there, and while they were there, Harry was asked to drop the putt ceremonially at the beginning of the hockey game. And this is standard. Uh, they always have somebody, you know, some celebrity or something dropping the putt. Um, in the past, the Queen actually did perform the puck drop at a game during her reign in her very early years. I think it was in the 60s. Anyway, so they were there to uh, a little bit of self-promotion. While they were in Vancouver, they were given tickets. They were in a VIP box along with other people, notably... There was another guest with them. Guess who has resurfaces? Marcus Anderson. The man described by Megan as her best friend, second most well-loved man in her life. Well, you know, I think there's a whole lot more between her and, and Marcus than, um, than the feeling she's ever had for Harry. He was a Mark, and we know it. He was just a project. She had to get that ring. She had to get that title. I don't think she's ever really cared for Harry at all. It was just really a marriage of convenience. Um, I think Marcus is is really he's like the Wizard of Oz. He's the man behind the curtain as far as Megan's concerned. And, um, you know, I've often thought, is he her handler? Um, could be could be both of their past kind of coming together as they did Soho House is behind it all I've done several videos on Marcus Anderson and on Soho House and given to what I believe is Marcus's um progen progenitor where he came from who his father is who's your daddy well we know we know it's Prince Andrew. We know this is the driving force but behind Marcus Anderson's uh, quest to get close to the royals. And now Megan, with her driving force for celebrity fame and fortune um, and her willingness to do anything to get it, if you know what I mean, uh, was was very, uh, very useful for Marcus. Um, isn't it funny how these people all seem to run into the celebrity circles with uh, strange men with private islands and predilections and criminal acts and but and they're also just all tied together and all the links go back to Soho House right back to Marcus Anderson they're all knee deep in it I've said this before but let's get back to the hockey game so Megan shows up Megan and Harry and of course they're on the jumbotron and there's pictures of them and all of that right well she shows up sporting over a hundred and seventy five thousand dollars worth of jewelry at a hockey game like how gauche do you have to be how new money look at me flashy do you have to be um it's it's absurd it was like when she went to the uh primary school in Harlem wearing, you know, tens of thousand dollars worth of jewelry and saying to these, you know, poor black inner city kids, 
you know, I'm a princess. She's just, she's just that awful, you know. But I, I just found it really interesting that here's Marcus again popping up and out with them. And I think, I mean, I've always thought, and, and look at my past videos, there is a huge connection, and I've broken it down, and I've found the connections um, where it's all going to lead to. I think this is, this is one of Megan and Marcus's main motivation. They're driving this thing. Uh, blackmail, for sure. Um, holding something over the head of the royals that they don't want to get out. Absolutely. Um, not just the, not just the idea that, um, Prince Andrew could be Marcus's father, which I believe. Uh, but there's more than that. The behaviors of Prince Andrew and other royals and other elites connected with Soho House. And I think Marcus, because he's sort of the head of recruitment and, and, and all, he knows all these celebrities, he knows what they get up to, he knows their habits and peccadilloes and, and whenever you get an elite group of people together, There always seems to be the same activity surrounding them. And it's ugly. But it's everywhere. And I think you know what I mean. Think of Jeffrey Epstein. Think of um, Peter Nygaard. Who's just been convicted, by the way. Found guilty of his sexual assault charges. All these guys with private islands and somehow, um, you know, Andrew's friends with them all and somehow Megan has connections to them all. Um, makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. I mean, they know. There's information that is being covered up, that is being hidden, that I think Megan and Marcus kind of hold the key. You know, we could we could blow this up. We could blow this up, man. And they could. I mean, it wouldn't do well for Megan. It would make her butt. You know, there's there's the victim whistleblower kind of. Oh yeah, this I. I was drawn into this when I was a young actress and I didn't know I had from a hole in the ground and I got sucked into these bad... She could make that kind of a play. Um, I mean, now we, we're at the point now we don't believe anything she says or does. But still, there's there would be a faction of people that would support her through something like that. If she... I mean, just like Virginia Dufre, she was a victim, originally brought in, acted as a victim. Um, and over time, she was compelled to victimize others, you know. And there's people that that are on her side and people that that are, you know, saying she's just doing, you know, She's just after some money now, and, and she was just as guilty as everybody else. So you're going to have support on both sides, and I think Megan is kind of counting on that too. She could, she could continue and play the victim card when and if this all does blow up. But um, again, I just think it's a little uh, spotlight into what's really going on so that we don't forget that there is this connection between Megan, Marcus, Soho House, and some elites with some pretty nasty habits, we might say. And it's not going to end. That's why Harry and Megan are being protected from all sides, from the American government, from the British government, from the royal family. 
all the elites. Nobody wants this to get out. Nobody wants this to get out. This is why I've maintained they are being protected and will continue to be protected. It's just the way the world works these days. It's not right, but it's what's happening. Anyway, hope you like this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you wish. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. The link's in the description. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you're thinking about all of this. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.